I figured out how to flip my screen in my editing program. So no more of that opposite stuff. <laughs> uh, this package I have been waiting for a little bit. This came from Connecticut from a guy named Joe Harris. I did a trade with him and plus money to boot to get this. So... Trying to figure out what would be the best solution here. Tell you what, I'm just going to cut the top of the box because I already know what's in this box. stuff all over this table. It's alright. I will uh, I'll reuse the box if I need to. Oh. Upside down. <laughs> what we have here is a Husqvarna 480. Wow. It uh, it definitely needs clean, but man, it looks whole. Everything looks like it's all there. Oh, that's just that being loose. Looks pretty good. He said this thing would uh, would fire up. I mean, I like it. It 77 cc's. So this puts me right at like what? I, well, no, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even compare this thing to a 372. But it's in the neighborhood of the cc's. <laughs> uh, even though this is 77 cc's, it. Uh, Probably ain't no match for a 372. <laughs> but, man, this thing looks great. Uh, I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, kind of looks like my 2100, but let's, uh, well, Uh, it says 408 and serial number 025705 so 1970 somewhere in there I may be wrong on that but I will add it in this video it does need cleaned I do know that but he said this thing would fire on prime I believe it because he uh he deals with a lot of uh, chainsaws too um he's actually a collector and a uh, buyer and seller <laughs> like i am <laughs> but i think this looks great yeah uh, i think it's in great condition be cool to have a full wrap on this old thing wouldn't it i know they probably made them but yeah i'm good with the way it is it's uh it's got that cool factor of old school, you know what I mean? Um, little tiny breather hole, which is not too bad. The top has got some cracks in it. But, um, i seen a, um, a cover on eBay for this uh, same exact model for, uh, I think it was like 40 bucks or something like that. I might, uh, I might buy it to, uh, Cover up the big cracks and just keep this top as a backup if I ever come across another one of these. I like those big dogs. Those dogs look awesome. 
That was an exhaust. <laughs> it's like in person, they're small compared to the 2100. Man, it thing is small compared to that. And the, 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 the great thing is, is it looks just like the 2100. Hold on. You know what's funny? You're not going to believe me if I say this. This thing is literally like the same height almost. The 2100 is like that much taller. I know it's not going to be as wide. No, the 2100 is way wider. It's like that much wider. But uh, the tanks kind of look similar. But the, you know, the manual oiler on the 2100 is, I mean, that's a dead giveaway. I did acquire another saw. Um, I just don't want to get it down because uh, I like it where it's at right now. <laughs> it's just a headache trying to you know move them around the great thing is i got a spot just for this saw uh to everybody out there that is looking for um one two i have one two three four home lights i want to sell the home lights and try to acquire uh two and three series husqvarna's um i'm still going to collect mcculloch's because i am mcculloch fan it was like my first love honestly um but um if you um know me on facebook um you can you can find me easy it's not really that hard <laughs> but um my uh my um home lots will be for sale so if anybody's interested in the home lots i do have just go down in the description watch the collection video and send me a message. Till next video, you guys have a wonderful day.